everyone, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today we're talking about the Color Strip Picks ILS from Shovey DJ that was launched recently at DJX and was on hand. If you haven't seen that recent video of my recap and uh, conversation with Alan Reese, Senior Product Manager, hit the link above to watch that video at the end of this video. Um, and if you have any comments, questions below, leave them in the comment section below. And if you haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. Really appreciate that. So let's get into it. The Color Strip Picks ILS from Chauvet DJ. Wow, uh, that's 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 all I can say about this fixture. This was absolutely insane. Well, when um, Chauvet DJ and IDJ now were teasing some of the new products that were coming out at DJX, and I saw this fixture, I was like, oh my god, I I, I need to have this. Um, and there's no exaggeration on it. Plus, what was a huge, huge win was that it had ILS in the name. So it's now part of the ILS ecosystem. It's a lot easier for people that don't wanna sit there and program and learn DMX. This is a great way for end users and people that just don't wanna deal with DMX, a chance to have some really insanely amazing pixel mapping eye candy effects at their events. This color strip PIX ILS is insane. It is, it's got a very um, narrow beam, um, full LED strip. It has uh, 40 LEDs. It is tricolor, so RGB. Um, and the DMX channels are three, eight, 120, and 122. Now, I'm just thinking about it on my programming side. If I was, if I had 20 of these and I had 122 um, DMX channels on each fixture, man, my universe uh, channels would eat up super quick, but you could bet your butt I can do some really cool programming with it just based on um, what this fixture is already putting out there. Um, it does have three pin XLRs and it does have IEC. That was the one con that I saw from this fixture is that it didn't have power con. I don't know if that was a, um, a price difference because adding on a power con would bring up the price a little bit more versus they wanted to keep it at a certain price threshold. But anywho, it's IEC, that's totally fine. You can link seven of these units up, daisy chaining them on their power. So if you have a run, runway, um, you can do a nice, uh, not only color strip, but also power runs are uh, super, super easy. Like I said, very narrow beam at 14 degrees. Um, it is super bright. Some control options, you can use the IRC6 remote or an ILS command to control it, or you can plug it into your uh, DMX controller of choice, and you can have some really cool fun with some eye candy effects. Um, the mounting hole is a 13 millimeter. Um, and the unit's length is about 39 inches. So you have a very nice long fixture there. Wow, that's, 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 that's all I can say about this fixture. The color chases that you can do are, in, are insane. So let's jump into some of my thoughts, comments, concerns about this fixture. Um, you already heard some of the, the concerns about it. It doesn't have PowerCon, which I'm kind of more PowerCon friendly because you pop it in and you kind of lock it in. Pop, lock, and drop it. <laughs> um, but with IEC, sometimes if they come loose, if you don't have the, the locking style ones, um, they could potentially pop out and you're like, oh my gosh, I lost this fixture, what's going on? And then come to find out, you just it's loose um, and it's power. Some positives are you can use it in your DMX uh, controllers and universe with show express and any other controllers that are out there but again a nice part of it is that it's part of the ILS ecosystem so you can control it through your ILS command and how you do that is coming from a new update firmware update from from Chauvet DJ for the ILS command that you'll be able to go into your settings activate pixel mode and then from there you can kind of trigger all of the pre-built um, shows that are in the fixture and recall them on the ILS command, which I think is gonna be super helpful if you purchase this fixture. You can get two of these, put them on your speaker stands, shoot them out, 
give some eye candy effects um, for your crowd. And this is really nice too, because if you're not looking to get into the, the tube lights or you don't wanna spend the money on the tube lights and you're looking for something like this that is uh, budget friendly, but it also kind of gives that wow factor, these are gonna be, be it. Um, you can use it as a crowd wash and use it for eye candy to kind of show off things, or you can use it as an uplight, as a wash, a wall washer as well. And it can do the same thing with doing some really cool color chases on the wall. And if you have add some uh, haze or fog to the, to the mix, you're gonna see those effects clear as day. Really uh, was looking forward to seeing this and I'm glad that I was able to see it and kind of play around with some of the fixture, uh, some of the features on the fixture. Um, it was absolutely insane to see. So that's it coming from the color strip PIX ILS. Probably one of my favorite fixtures that was at DJX this year. And I'm super excited to bring this video to you so that you can kind of give get uh, not only uh, a perspective of what I was looking at and seeing and viewing, but also kind of like my two cents on both the positives and negative sides of it. Um, and I'm hoping once they get these all shipped out that I'll get my hands on a couple of these and kind of do a product review on them once they come in because they're not, they're not out yet. But stay tuned for that video down the road. Um, again, if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe below, like this. Uh, video share it with your friends in the industry and of course we'll see you in the next video take care and we'll see you